In this video, I'll be showing you how to escape the matrix on these three brawl maps in Mordhau, Turn A, Contraband, and Dungeon, including alternative version. Now, let's get started. Número 1 First off, turning. What you'll need is a toolbox, plus a heavy hand axe, and a bit of luck. At the start you will place the spike and break it, but not destroy it. After that is done, you will place a ballista facing as far opposite of the wall as you can and repair the spike. This should move the ballista closer to the wall. It only failed because of the ballista being too close to the spike, causing it to go up, not left. You can see after updating the ballista by simply just using it, it moved into the right place and I was able to glitch through the wall. After that, you will place an archer cover right here to climb up. Now I know you can't see much, but if you look closely, there is an edge that we can climb up upon. Simply place another archer cover and climb on top of it. Though, when you jump, remember to hold crouch in the air before climbing or you won't be able to get up there. Just hold the button down while you press space at the ledge. After you've done that, simply walk here and repeat the crouch climb. The rest is the easy part. Walk up to that wall and place an archer cover again to climb up. After that, climb onto the wall right of the pole and you're on the roof. The last step is to place another archer cover to climb on top of the skybox. And you've done it. You can explore a bit more of the out of bounds territory or harass some knights. Número dos. Second one, contraband. For this, you'll need a toolbox, a wooden molly, and a light loadout to run fast with the cat perk. First off, you'll place the spike as far out as you can facing the cliff in front. After that, run in a straight line on the far right side of the spike and jump off at the end to climb the invisible wall. When you've done that, run against the invisible wall while looking a bit to the right. After a second, you should feel the wall disappear. Then quickly jump and climb onto the stone. While climbing, you might need to tap S a bit to not fall off after climbing. If you want, you can jump to that broken tower. Issue is, you cannot go back and continue. You would have to jump from the spike again. If you decide to go the normal round, you would have to jump onto the other side. Now comes the more tricky part. You're going to stab the left side of the stone knob with your mallet. If you did this right, you should fall down and start ragdolling, surviving the fall. Now that you are down there, head to the loadout spot. After that, do not jump. It will instantly kill you. If you want to go higher, you will have to do so by climbing or walking. Now, as a last step to get into the frame of the camera, place a spike here and simply run onto the stone. You've done it. Enjoy dancing for everyone in the loadout menu while confusing the noobs. Número 3 Last up is dungeon, including the alternate version. For this one, you'll again need a toolbox, a heavy hand axe, and a lot of patience. I will be showing this in the alternate version, 
since you need to do an extra step here. When you spawn, go to the other room and take the pig. Now ride the pig next to the iron bars and position it so that you can glitch through while getting off. This was the only step needed for the alternate version. After that, head to one of the four stairs. You're going to use the same trick as in Turney. So place a spike and break it, then place a ballista in front of it. Repair the spike and the ballista should move closer to the wall. If not, repeat until it works. Remember to place the ballista and spike close to the wall. And the spike not too close to the ballista, or it won't move left, but up. After glitching through the wall, you'll be stuck there. Now do a crouch climb to get up. Just hold crouch while you climb. If you fail the jump, get on the ballista again or you won't be able to retry it. After that, you've done it. You can now spy on the enemies through the wall. This trick should work on all four staircases, but might be harder to do on the other ones. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the small tutorial. If so, consider supporting me. It would mean a lot.